Welcome back to another Microsoft Word video. Um, today we're talking about the Insert tab. There's a lot of stuff here. We're only going to be covering about half of it, but it's all about the same. Whatever you're trying to insert into your document, you just got to find the right button and then choose what you're looking for to make your document look great or to follow the instructions. So over here to the left, first we got our cover page. If you're writing a book or reports, uh, this will give you a really nice... Uh, title page, cover page, or you can switch this picture out, whatever the name of your book is, Book of Life. Um, and then you can kind of change this up to make it your cover page, your title book, okay? If you ever want to scoot something down a whole page instead of hitting enter a bunch, you can just go right here to blank page, and that'll give you a new blank page. We're skipping page break, going to table. If you ever want to use a table to display or share information with your, with your readers, click right there. Uh, whenever you click on or open up a new object, you'll notice over here an additional tab opens up, and that's where we can change the colors, change how it's styled, things like that. Uh, pictures, pretty easy. Just go pictures from this device. You can also do an internet search depending on if you already have it on your computer, then by all means um, do it. Make sure, see how that picture went inside my table? That's no bueno, no good. You got to make sure you, well, it's wherever you want to put it wherever you want to put it, okay? You got to make sure you have, you you put the picture where you want it to go. And again, with the picture, you have this additional tab. I can change the color, um, do a couple different Photoshopping edits inside that additional tab. Pictures, shapes, same thing, just find whichever one you're looking for, click and drag. Also do some like Photoshopping, put a smiley face on your picture, whatever you want to do there. Um, smart art. You won't cover a chart, we won't cover. Um, you will cover those in high school. Very important, useful tools, but we're just doing the introduction. Screenshot, same as your snipping tool. You can take a screenshot inside Microsoft Word and it'll automatically put it inside your document. Skip, 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 skip. Uh, you can put a link into your document. So if you wanted to link this uh, to um, Google, now that now you can click on that and link it to Google. Uh, skipping, skipping, header. Header is this top part of the document. So if you want to put a header in, you click on header. And then what kind of header you're putting in, that's a nice kind of stylish one. And then you just like page one or whatever it is um, you're wanting to put inside your header. There's also, uh, this one's a popular one. That gives you kind of a three places to put things. I think on your assignment, you'll need this. Uh, you can put page one. Whatever you put here will be shown on each. Uh, oh, no, it won't be. Up. Sometimes it's on each page, depending on which page you put it on. Um, let's see. Header, footer, same thing. The footer's at the bottom of the page, so depending on what you're looking for. And again, you have that additional tab to have more control over that tab. Page numbers, it's kind of like header and footer, but it's going to go ahead and put page numbers in. Just read your instructions or whatever, wherever you feel like, depends on... What, what you're trying to do, but it'll put in page numbers for you. Uh, last, see how I can't, see how this is all kind of grayed out, I can't really click in here. You have to double click to get back into your your document. Uh, text box, this is a really simple one. Just, it's a place you can put more text into your document. Um, word art, this is words that look like arts. Really, really pretty. Word. So you can use this as a title, you can use this just to show emphasis, do lots of different things with word arts. If you ever want to move something around, you can click right here, click on this, you can kind of click and drag it around to move it to where you want it to be. And that's it. Unless you want to do math equations, which I don't think so. Anyway, insert tab, if you want to put something new into your documents, uh, this is where you this is where you go. So if you see insert on your instructions, most of the times we're going to come here and then just find the right button and then insert what the instructions tell you to do. Great job.